Hey guys, welcome back to Tangerine Education. So today we're going to write Lewis structures for N2, H2O, and BF3. And I have a couple of rules here that we have to follow. Um, each element must have an octet, octet of electrons surrounding it, except for boron. That's the only exception. And the total number of electrons drawn, which um, we're going to symbolize electrons with either dots or lines, must match the total number of valence electrons that you calculate from the periodic table. Okay, so I'm gonna make some space for myself here. Let's start with N2. So first we gotta calculate the number of electrons that N2, uh, valence electrons that N2 has. So what I usually do is I follow the numbers that are written here. If you don't have these numbers, you could just write in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I read it off from the periodic table. So we go to N, I see that we have um, five valence electrons here. Ignore the one in front of it. So we have five from one N, and then we have another five, so that's gonna be 10 in total valence electrons. Okay, so to write the Lewis structure, I like to um, write in the elements first and remember, one of our rules was that the number of drawn electrons has to match the number of uh, valence electrons that we got from the periodic table. So um, what I like to do first is I like to give each um, element an octet of electrons, which is what you see here. They have two electrons on each side. And whenever you see this, you can write in just a line to symbolize that they're sharing the electrons. And a line is going to count for two electrons. Even though you saw one, two, three, four like that before I erased it, these are actually shared electrons, so it's really just two electrons. Okay? So now let's count how many valence electrons we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That is way too much. We want 10. So instead, we can take out a pair of electrons and make them share it. And that's still going to count as an octet because remember we had four sides and we had two electrons on each side. Well, we have one, two, three, and four for this element. One, two, three, and four for this element. So we're still good. Now let's count how many electrons we have again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, looks like we just got to get rid of one more pair and we should be good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And that's the Lewis structure for N2. Okay, now H2O. We have one valence electron for hydrogen and we have two hydrogens. And for oxygen, it's over here. Looks like we have six. So that's going to be eight valence electrons in total. So let's do this. Oxi uh, yeah, oxygen and two hydrogens. So let's start out by giving each element an octet. But for hydrogen, you do not need to have an octet. I forgot to write um, hydrogen and helium as an exception to the rule because they're just in the first row which means that they really can only hold two electrons so don't forget that for hydrogen and helium and then remember here we can replace this with a line Repe replace these four with a line okay so let's count how many uh, valence electrons we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're good. Now, last one, BF3, I'm gonna write that over here. So we have B, um, F, F, and F. Remember, boron is an exception to the rule for the octet rule. So boron, actually, it can just have six valence electrons surrounding it, not eight. So what we can do is, um, these fluorines need an octet. So I'm just gonna surround the fluorines with it. 
boron can have um, just six valence electrons. So I see this group of four here. Let's erase that, make a line. This group of four, make a line. This group of four, that's a really messy group of four, but okay. So boron fulfills its rule because it's an exception. It only needs six. Um, fluorine, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, fluorines have an octet. Now let's count the number of valence electrons. Oh, and I forgot to um, calculate the amount that you need. So boron is over here. It has three valence electrons. Then you have three fluorines. Each of them have seven. So one, two, three. And that totals to 24 valence electrons. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we're all good to go.